On your mark, get set, go. And the pigs are off. These pigs are trained to be racers from the time they were three to four weeks old. But what motivates them? An Oreo cookie. The winner gets the cookie, the losers get the crumbs. That's the way it is in life and that's how it is here at the pig races. Zach Johnson is a swine master that runs Swifty Swine's pig racing here at the South Carolina State Fair. But even though they are well trained, sometimes things don't always go as planned. One, one time I had one jump over the fence and take off through the carnival. I, I gotta watch that one because he's pretty fast. So fast, the kids are left amazed. Just say, go piggy, go, and it was like going super fast because it was like blocking the others. The pig races are so popular, you need to get there early to save a seat to... See the pigs. This little boy's favorite part of the show? The big pigs. Pig racing isn't the only thing you can come out and do. You could also take cute pictures with Honey Boo Boo. As people line up to take pictures, others watch in awe at the star of the show. Swifty as he dives into the trough of water. Swifty may be the star of the show, but he isn't hogging all of the spotlight. We've got Kevin Bacon, we've got Brad Pig, we've got Lindsay Loham to Barack or Ribs Obama to Tr Donald Trump roast. All the big stars are right here and right now. And if you miss it, you gotta wait till next year. Johnson has multiple pig race teams traveling to state fairs all around the country. But what started it all? It's my lifelong dream to be a pig racer because I couldn't afford a NASCAR. So I'm like, okay, can't afford NASCAR, let's try racing pigs. My wife said, okay, let's try it. So that was 20 years ago, and we've been racing pigs ever since. A dream he gets to share with family, and where every day is a squealing good time. Nicole Butler, Carolina News.